How's it going everyone? Today is an awesome day because I am out in BC and for the first time in 2020 I am with the entire Herping BC team and we are out for a week. We are going to try and find as many of the six species that we can find in this area and we also have a friend with us today, Andrew. This is the Okanagan snake spotter and he's here to help us find all six species this week so wish us luck. All right so we're just walking along the trail and my brother spotted very impressively this camouflage bird. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see it. Um, but I'll zoom in on it. You can just see its eye there. I'm not totally sure what it is. We think it's either a, a poor will or a nighthawk. Yeah, that's my guess. But uh, yeah, very neat camouflaged bird. So we've been looking at this. We think it's a poor will. It's up there now. Uh, we we're trying not to disturb it, but it hopped away and then revealed that, oh, my shadow's on it. But there's another one right there <laughs> that we haven't seen this whole time. So these birds are very good at camouflage. All right, snake number one, species number one. This is the yellow-bellied racer. Usually these guys are aggressive, but he's been nice for us, gently holding him here to get some pictures. Try and get, it's hard to get, but there's his yellow belly. And he's got some really nice blue coloring on him as well. Found him under a rock. Let's see, he's, well, of course he stops now, but his, Tongue will flick, there it is, tasting, seeing what's holding him and what's going on. our name from Herping BC to Birding BC because we've seen more cool birds than we have snakes today. Alright, well this morning didn't turn out so good but we came to our second place this evening and within five seconds we already found species number two. This is the Great Basin Gopher Snake and he is just chilling out here next to the lake. Absolutely gorgeous. Love these guys. Okay, so one of our favorite things about these guys is the pattern they have on their belly. So he's got a really cream colored stomach, and then if you look all the way down, I'm just checking out my face here a little bit. If you look the whole way down, he's got these little black flecks that go down his belly, and if you look right at his tail is where it's most vivid, which is really cool to see. They've also got this cool black line that goes right across their forehead and then this stripe that goes from their ear backwards. Oh, well, they actually don't have ears, but about where their ear would be. And it goes backwards, giving them sort of a black mask effect, which is super cool. So yeah, species number two, Great Basin Gopher Snake. Rats. 
All right, so species number three is right here. This is the Western Terrestrial Garter Snake, or the Wandering Garter Snake. I might catch him, but they really stink. They musk. So we'll see. This is a good sized one hanging out here. That's three out of six. Okay, we haven't checked this rock yet, but I'm gonna say that there's probably a Western Terrestrial Garter Snake or more under here. There's one. That's not the same one though. Another small wandering garter snake heading off into the deep brush. Just saw this guy cruising along the side of the ledge here. Gopher snake number two. If you like what you saw, click up here to subscribe and to check out some more other videos, click right up here.